Hello, I'm Llewellyn Falco, creator of Approval Tests. We all have this problem of how do we test email. It's been a traditionally hard thing to test, and most of the people, when faced with that problem, usually set up a dummy account so they can send themselves a couple test emails. I'm going to show you how to do it in a better way with the simple approval tests. First, in this demonstration, I'm going to use a process called the peel. I've talked about this earlier. It shouldn't be a problem if you haven't seen it before. It's a simple technique of just separating two, a method into two pieces and then ignoring the hard part. Let's go to the code. Here's the method that I have where I send a welcome email to a new user. It's all jumbled in one thing, both the creation of the message and the sending of it, which makes it very hard for me to test. All I need to do is select the part where I create the message and extract that and create message. Now that I have that, I can clean up my line and I have a simple peel here that I can ignore and I can test the more interesting part of the message that's actually being created. It might be interesting to note that I'm using the razor parser here which allows me to create my email the way I would in an MVC application but that's not relevant for this test. So in the test First, I need to create my model. That's going to be my user. It needs an email address, and it needs a name. Now that I've got my user, I can create my mail message. And I can do this because I've created a seam that makes it easy to call this piece individually. Now, all I have to do is create an email approval, to verify the mail. It's worth noting that I'm using a file launcher reporter because email comes out in a weird format. When I run this, it's going to fail because I've never had a golden master to pass. But it's going to open here in Thunderbird as an actual mail message. I can see the from and the subject and the to. I can even see the way that the email will look. Now that I've seen it and I like it, I can just go and change from a file launcher reporter to a diff reporter. I'm using code compare, so my diff reporter is going to open in Visual Studio. Here's what I got back that I've already seen is correct. I'm simply going to move it over to approve it, and now my test will pass. So that's everything you need to see from a unit test. It's confirming that my behavior will continue to work as it used to, and it gave me enough feedback so I can actually see the email and see what it wants to be. I'd like to close by highlighting Brad Cunningham. You can find him on Twitter, and he's an MVP for C Sharp down in San Diego. We were working together last week on a project that involved email, and it was out of that that this entire email approvals was created. As always, if you have any questions, tweet it with the hash approval test. I monitor that, and we'll answer you promptly.